Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest version of GIMP. So let's go ahead and open up our web browser and we'll type into Google GIMP G-I-M-P and if you're not familiar with GIMP it's a image manipulation program so it's similar to Photoshop. Uh, if you've never used this software before if you look in the YouTube description I'll put some links to some tutorials so you get familiar with using GIMP software. It's very powerful and it's, uh, it's, it's free to use. So let's go ahead and install this. So I'll click on this link and we'll go to GIMP.org website and you can see download 2.10.10. So this is a new release. This was released only a few days ago. It's the 4th or the 7th and today's the 10th. So three days ago, this particular version was released. Uh, you can click on the release notes and read what the updates were about this particular version of software. But for now, we'll click on the orange download button. And what the web browser will do is it will think, uh, it says here, we think your OS is Microsoft Windows, which is correct. But you've got the Linux version, the Mac OS, and Microsoft Windows versions here. So if the browser, or if the software detects the wrong version or operating system, you can click on any of these three links. If we click on Linux, you'll get a Linux version. Oh, Mac OS, you'll get the Mac OS version here. But we're going to use Windows. So we'll click on Windows. GIMP for Windows is written here. And we'll click on this orange button to get a direct download. I don't really want to use BitTorrent, so we just do a direct download here. We'll drag this to the side and then we'll open up this folder and we'll wait for the download to finish. It's 206 meg, so we'll take a little bit of time to download, so we'll just wait for that. Okay, so that's fully downloaded. We'll drag and drop that zip file or the executable file into this folder. So we've got it here and let's just minimize this. We'll double click here and we'll start the installation. We can see Norton saying it's safe to install as well. So we'll just follow the on-screen instructions. We've got the drop down menu here to select a different language. I'm going to leave it as default English. I'll click OK. And then we've got this screen here, we'll click install and the software will start to install. So we'll wait for this to finish installing and we'll launch the application to take a quick look. Okay, so the software is fully installed. I'm going to click the finish button here. And then if I go to my start menu, you'll see GIMP 2.10 written here. If you don't see it there, then you should be in a folder as well. Sometimes it, you see it's right down here, the new version of GIMP, right? And I've also got it uh, on my, this is actually an older version, so I'm going to right click and unpin from taskbar. And then I'm going to right click here and say, uh, let's see, more pin to taskbar. So now I've got the software right here as well. So let's load this up and make sure it's all working. So here we've got GIMP already loaded up. You've got all your paint tools here. You've got all your options here to do editing and stuff. So I won't really be doing a tutorial today on this. I just wanted to show you how to get the software installed. Once again, if you look in the YouTube description, you'll find a playlist where I've done, you know, 30 or 40 tutorials on GIMP, probably more than that. So you can go to that uh, playlist and you can check out all the different tutorials, anything from like cropping out an image to changing the color of an image and doing all this good stuff using GIMP. I explain how all the layers work, how to use all these different tools. So I'm going through bit by bit and showing you how to use GIMP uh, in various tutorials. So they're really designed for beginners. So if you've not used GIMP before, if you just want to learn something new, then click on the link in the YouTube description to my playlist for GIMP tutorials. So let's go ahead and close this down. That's how you go about installing GIMP 2.10.10, which is the latest version of GIMP image editing software. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. Mm -hmm.